Okay, I'm back in the mall. But this time it's a little bit later. And listen to those currawongs and other birds in the background, quite lovely. So this week we're gonna start looking at computational thinking. And you may have heard of mathematical thinking, scientific thinking, creative thinking, critical thinking. There's a whole bucket load of thinkings out there, but really they're just different ways of approaching a problem. And computational thinking is a really handy way of breaking a problem down into something which is achievable. You know, it's a little bit like that old joke, uh, how do you eat an elephant one spoon at a time? You, you break things down so that they no longer become that daunting. So there's a lot about that in the next little while. But this week we're going to get introduced to computational thinking by way of using a program called Scratch. Now you may never use this in your teaching, but what it does is to put you into the position that your students are going to be in every day. And that's where they've got to learn something they've never learnt before. And some of you may have had some experience with this, I don't know, but most of you won't have with my experience. There's anything to, to go by. So approach it as if you are a child in a class. Look at your learning, how you learned, what impediments there were to your learning, and what made sense to you and what didn't make sense to you as well. There is no doubt that most of you will find this difficult to begin with. But after you've done a bit of it, you will be quite surprised at what you can achieve. And that's what I'd like to leave you with. So, enjoy.